Hey guys, welcome to Review Friday. This week I'm going to be discussing Gotham. This is Fox's version of how Gotham became to be Gotham before Batman came around. So this is just a premiere and right off the bat we are thrown into so many characters that it gets very overwhelming. We start off with Commissioner Gordon in his younger years so there's no beard or mustache but it looks really 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 weird so I'm hoping soon enough in the series that they're gonna slash that mustache and beard on him and age him a little bit because it's just not Commissioner Gordon without it. Right after we are introduced with Commissioner Gordon, we are rushed to the scene where Bruce Wayne's parents, mother and father were killed. And I'm not really sure how I feel about the death of his family. Yes, it happened in the comics and that's the way it goes, but the way that they rushed into it, it just kind of seemed a little weird. Also, we get introduced to another character, Selena Kyle, who witnessed the murders of his parents, which as we all know, if you are a follower of the comics and everything, she was not around when the murders happened. I guess with them throwing Selena Kyle in with the whole murder scene and everything like that, that's going to be interesting twist. I'm not sure if that's going to be a very good one. I know a few people are kind of a little, I don't know, I guess disappointed in the fact that they threw her in there and witnessed all that, but I guess We'll just have to see how that plays out. And not only being introduced to Selena Kyle, we are introduced to a ton, a ton of characters. At the beginning, it was Gordon and Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne's parents. Then we see Alfred and we get introduced to Harvey, Penguin, Selena Kyle, Barbara, which I'm really not too sure how I feel about her, Poison Ivy, Falcone and Edward Nigma. The way they threw everybody in there was extremely overwhelming. I felt like it was a bit rushed as just for being the first episode. I feel like they probably should have taken it easy on the first episode, maybe introduced us to a little bit here and there to maybe like three villains and then on to the second episode, okay maybe they can throw it in a little one and then as they keep going on with the episodes then they could keep giving us more villains but having all of them rushed into one was just okay well there's that person and there's that person and it's just it's overall just all over the place. So as far as the storyline goes, I'm very intrigued to see what they do with it. I am definitely one who is loving the scenery and the shots. Um, I think they used a lot of CGI when it comes to um, the scenery of Gotham in, in its entire whole. Definitely think that they portrayed it in a very exact way, so I'm very pleased with it. As far as the character wise, we didn't really spend enough time at the beginning and I just felt like it was a little off. As I said before, Selena Kyle did witness the Wayne murders and in the comics and everything like that, she did not. So that's one thing that's kind of going to be interesting with everybody and I know right now everybody is disagreeing with it and not too much of a fan of it, but I'm kind of looking forward to see their twist and version of it. But the scene where Bruce Wayne's parents got killed was a little... I don't know, it didn't give it enough interest into it. It was just kind of like, they're dead, let's move on. I did enjoy Jada Pinkett Smith's acting. I really think she is a fantastic actor and I'm actually looking forward to seeing her in the upcoming episodes. I'm not really sure how much long she has left because I'm not really sure what her character is about. So, but I'm really looking forward to it. I think she plays a really awesome role in there and I think that she's going to bring a lot of interesting things into this. Other than that, I think Gotham is an easy adaptation, definitely not true to the comics. But right now, as far as this being the premiere, it's only the first episode and as we all know, the first episodes are always meh. It's always uh, one of those where you're kind of like, I feel like I'm interested, but I'm really not sure how I'm going to like this. It usually takes me about like up to like the third or fourth episode where I start really getting into it and start realizing if I really, really truly am loving this or if it's just one of those that just feels thrown in there. I for one am definitely interested into this series. I can't wait to see what plots and twists that they throw into there. And I'm very curious as to see what they do with Barbara Gordon because it's the way that they introduce Barbara is in a very weird light as well. But we shall see how they do everything. The Penguin, of course, I really actually am interested in the Penguin as well. I think 
his character is very interesting and I really love it at the end if you haven't seen it uh, what he does for the sandwich is kind of hilarious so I I'm kind of loving I can't remember the name of the actor but I'm kind of loving how he's going and I'm going to be very very interested in the upcoming episodes. Other than that, let me know if you have watched Gotham, what were your thoughts about it, what were your feelings, are you pretty interested or are you just going to pass on this one as well. And thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, hi my name is Panda. You should subscribe down below because I do post videos every Wednesday and Fridays for reviews. Also leave me in the comments below on what you think I should review next. And I will see you guys later and I have got to quote Anna on this. Stay awesome Gotham. Bye! Each episode focuses on a particular individual student and how they deal with bullying.